But most majestic of all is the Moroccan Palace Theater, which houses a show called Iceploration. Now I know the name Iceploration sounds like something Schwarzenegger would say to a benippled Clooney, but rest assured, this is nothing like a Joel Schumacher movie. It's just a bunch of people ice skating around in brightly colored campy animal costumes. That means you, Ben Savage. We meet a typical American youth playing a typical American video game while on a typical American Skype call, dreading his impending trip with his grandfather. Hi, Austin. Max. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, oh, Mr. Jones. Don't you two ever play outside? Why? Ah, oh, I sense wackiness related to the generation gap afoot. Do you have everything? Yep. And you looked up the coordinates to the African Serengeti. Yeah, but... Then let's go. This is a surprisingly mellow episode of Rick and Morty. So they travel via Google Maps to Africa, where the deer and the antelope play. Uh, hello, Grim. And what exactly is that? An African ground hornbill. And just the fellow I wanted to see. Austin, please make note that this hornbill appears to be perfectly healthy and well fed. Well, we found one healthy animal. Time to go home. Remember, kids, baby elephants and gazelles are all the time skating together. Whoa, bouncing and skating? Take that, Festival of the Lion King. Then Chitara skates around and kills a gazelle. Doesn't eat it, just murders it and throws the body away. Ah, the circle of life. Whoa, Grandpa. Oof. Grandpa. I want to see it again. I love animal carnage on ice. <laughs> Unlike your games, Austin, in real life, there isn't a replay button. Oh, so real life's more like a Sierra game you forgot to save. Technology is always changing. GPS, for instance. But sometimes it's just easier to pull out my old compass. See, from where we're standing, our next destination is southwest of here. Uh, Grandpa, the Great Barrier Reef is this way. Okay. I'm not giving up my compass quite yet. Those were to be his final words. So after that visit to Festival of the Lion King, the duo now visits Finding Nemo the Musical. Look at that snake. It's huge. Not a snake, Austin. We can tell from this submersible that it's a giant moray eel. We can hear from our audience seats that they're using clunky exposition. And there are so many colors. Great colors is a sign the reef is healthy. But our presence will soon put a stop to that. So the sea life skates around until a shark comes. And no, I didn't add that music. At least Jaws is still allowed in one park in Florida. But his appearance amounts to very little as we move on to a flag ceremony. Then we finally get to the ice themed portion of our ice show. I want to get a new reading on the ice thickness near here. No. Stay here. I'll be back shortly. So the wise, responsible grandpa leaves Austin completely alone in the frozen wilderness. Research center is. I know, but grandpa. I'll be back soon. Use your imagination. Explore. And explore what? There's nothing around here for miles. Yeah, he's sitting on a ghost. Huh? What? Hey. Brain is freezing to death! Hallucinatory rave time! Yes, kids, follow your crazy old grandpa to the middle of nowhere and you too can party with ice ghosts. The Aurora Borealis. Chance to see this kind of light show makes it worth the journey, doesn't it? Are you ready to go? <laughs> what is this expedition exactly? He just keeps traveling halfway across the world to look at shit for a minute and a half before traveling another halfway across the world? Look at this place! I haven't had a signal at any other spot between the North Pole and South America. I gotta switch to Verizon. No, Austin, that's what Blip wants you to do. Austin, have you ever smelled anything quite this extraordinary? Yeah, what is that? A healthy ecosystem. Truly one of the grossest things imaginable. Let's grab the bulldozers and fulfill our duties as Captain Planet villains. And here comes the Rainforest Showgirls! What happens in the rainforest stays in the rainforest. 
Then some human-sized terrifying lizards try to eat a human-sized uncomfortably sexual bug, and we're back to Festival of the Lion King. And the monkeys abduct the kid. I hate to break up this monkey business, but You've been waiting this whole damn trip to use that one. Alrighty, but there's so much more to do out here. And where exactly is here? Grandpa, out here in the world. Austin, that world starts in your own backyard. Oh, right. I forgot that my house is the starting point of all life in the universe. Funny how that slipped my mind. Let's take a picture. I can't wait to show Grandma. I just sent it to her. Brilliant, Austin. Thanks. Sure. I can teach you how to do it. It's a deal. And we learn that technology freaks and nature freaks can indeed both learn from each other. But nature freaks are still inherently superior.